People are more in a way from back here again as always. I just wanted to show you guys a little something. Something that really made me laugh and kind of made my day honestly. I'm not gonna lie. It was just a regular day for me until I saw this. This is essentially a Dutch article in which it turns out that uh, Suriname has been used as... Um, Suriname as a country has been, as a quote unquote country, has been used in the plot of a South American, uh, a South Korean um, drugs movie or a thriller where drugs was... Um, was where the emphasis was laid upon drugs in any case the header in green here up top says netflix drugs movie with suriname in the essentially uh, which essentially starring suriname as in suriname being in the main role um damages its image and and then it simply goes on it says in the south korean uh, crime action thriller series narco saints published by netflix um Confirmation has been released that Suriname has to do with um, a quite active drug trade and it just goes on and on and on and they shortly summarize simply <coughs> They simply lay emphasis on the fact that the movie essentially taints the image of Suriname and My response, okay, minus the mistakes that the movie made um, because they use like I think the wrong map, that's also what the article says. I didn't read it, uh, it, all of it, okay? In any case, they simply use uh, information that's partially correct, honestly. But it's not about that. The main issue here that um, the government has is that this movie essentially sheds a bad light on Suriname and might have a damaging impact on, uh, a negative impact on the tourist industry as a whole. And my response, ha 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 ha, what 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 fucking image that's my response to Suriname what motherfucking image Suriname has no image Suriname should be long happy that someone acknowledges Suriname that someone or something acknowledges it because no one gives a rat's tiny ass even fucking small ass countries like Ecuador and other countries in Latin America like Peru they have no idea that Suriname even exists they ignore Suriname outright because Suriname is not even worth like a blip on the radar <coughs> so again, my response is, what fucking image? When I saw this, oh, I laughed so hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can still hear in my voice that I have like after after giggles, if you want to call it that. Okay, in the wake of reading this article. And I'm just like, okay, what image and what tourist industry? Are you kidding me? What tourist are you talking about? You're talking about like what? The, the stupid thousand, uh, before COVID at least, the thousand a year... Uh, tourists that came to Suriname, 90% of which were what? Euro trash? Second and third class citizens in, in the Netherlands whom no one gives a rat's ass about. So that's why they come over here because they're like rejects from other countries. Those are tourists, like a thousand a year, seriously? That's an active, that's a tourist industry? Oh, so it made me laugh. oh no, this thing really made me laugh. It damages, it taints the image of the country. Oh, for once, Suriname is not a country. Suriname is a cesspool that belongs to the Netherlands. Secondly, what motherfucking image? What image does Suriname think it has? I mean, wow. If Suriname was a person, right? Suriname would be like a severely mentally disturbed individual that... I don't think that there's enough therapy in the world to help that person. That there would be. Okay. Essentially, someone in a straight jacket in an isolation chamber. Uh, the person should be long happy that it gets acknowledged. Regardless, any kind of acknowledgement is, is acknowledgement. Okay, even negative acknowledgement. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.